Hey Taurus, TT is here with a channel message for all of my Taurians. If y'all are new, welcome to our love nest over here on Talk Taurus Tarot. Tonight's reading is going to be a telepathic message, okay? So if you're familiar with my telepathic messages, I kind of do, I get the person's energy that's trying to communicate with you Taurus and I also pick up on your energy so you can kind of discern and decipher who is who and what is what all right so I'm going to start with the telepathic message for who is connecting with you Taurus I'm going to let you know what their messages are and if that energy doesn't resonate with you or you're able to identify who that person is in your life then go with it I'm also then going to shift over into your energy Taurus and kind of see what your energy is talking about and what your messages is to this person. This way, if we have any cross watchers that are on this channel, welcome to Talk Taurus Tarot with TT. And um, y'all could kind of negotiate this thing from the other side, okay? <laughs> so, um, off the back, the person that is coming back, I do feel like this is someone from your past or you have some type of history with. I also feel like this is someone you haven't heard from in a while. Okay, so definitely no contact energy is showing up in this reading. Um, this is someone that may like to pretend as if they are carefree and they don't mind having an open relationship. But I do feel as if this person has some insecurities that they may not ever tell you, but you'll find out about it over time. So if you have someone that you're aware of likes to kind of take a risk they're very spontaneous maybe they can be a little <clears throat> you know it, it it gives carefree energy okay i also feel like this is someone that's not prideful they're very vulnerable they may tell you how they feel tell you that they love you things like that but truthfully i do feel as if this person has two sides to them like, as long as you're not neglecting this person um, and treating them bad, I feel as if they'll feel confident in the relationship. But if you start to, if you start to kind of like trigger this person's low self-esteem, then they will switch up on you, okay? I feel like this is someone that may have mood swings or they could be like really moody. And I'm not talking about menstrual moody or, you know, I'm mad because the game, someone lost a game. I'm talking about moody as in there's two sides to this person. Okay. The card that came out was this energy. I feel like there is something supernatural that may be affecting somebody. And maybe you're, con maybe you are aware of it you know what i'm saying i don't know like something's off with this person i feel like this person is also like non-committal okay like you may know this person has some maybe fighting some demons okay i'm hearing that song um what's that song who's seen that song i find demons Mm -mm. I don't know why my AC is on 68. Something, something be off. Like It cannot be that damn hot in this house. My oldest daughter loves to keep the AC up so high. Someone is, if they make a commitment to you or they promise like it's going to be like completely only you or something like that, this is a person that has a tendency of stepping out every now and then, okay? So I do feel like this is someone that has a hard time settling down or talking to just one person here, okay? So that's the energy that I pick up for the person that's trying to telepathically communicate with you. Like, if other people starts to talk about this person or say things about them, it could kind of trigger their insecurity, and then you'll see another side of them. <laughs> Sorry about the dogs barking in the background. Something tipped them off, okay? This is someone that's also very territorial. Um, they have a tendency to be very territorial, and, like, they don't want no one else talking to you. They can get a little jealous of another person talking to you or something like that. 
but then they don't want a commitment. It's a little obscure, okay? They don't want a commitment. They don't want no titles, but they do. They don't want nobody else talking to you, which is giving me a little bit of a um, possessive, territorial type of energy. Yeah, they don't want nobody else to have your make love in, Taurus. Okay, Tower card. This is also someone that may have a tendency of like spying into your life, tapping into your energy, um, <clears throat> keeping there. They may test you a lot as well. That's what I'm picking up here. Someone that may test you um, to see like if you fall for some type of some type of um, hidden motives that they want to test you on. Um, like if you'll leave them. This is someone that has a tendency of like being destructive as well. Mm hmm. Like one minute they were for you, and the next minute they switch up the plans or they change their mind. That may be another clue as well for you, Taurus. Um, and they don't like to listen to other people that try to tell them that th this about themselves. They're kind of like pri They're kind of prideful, but really they're not prideful. That's just like a hard shell that they they put up. They're not really a prideful person. They're just. They're different. <laughs> what does this person need Taurus to know? Okay. What does this person need someone to know? Now, this could be somebody as well that's breaking up with somebody that's in this energy. And it's just like on them like stank. Somebody has some type of karmic person on them like, like, um... You know, like flies to shit, okay? They just stick into them like glue. And even though they're trying to break up with them, they... You know, when people be doing stuff like intentions and, part, you know, partitions on people and trying to overthrow a person's free will, whether they know this or not, when that keeps happening and and it goes against a person's free will it can bring out a very ugly dark version of a of a person um it can ruin a person as well and that could be the objective of someone to ruin somebody um and like they be so ruined or so broken from the relationship that they're unrepairable by another person or just for themselves. Like they could barely hold it together for themselves. So this is maybe someone that has gone through dark, dark, dark experiences. You know. Feeling um, like embarrassed. Or like a, too ashamed to admit certain things that has happened in the relationship. Or certain things that has, you know, been done. Okay. And I feel like gossip and people kind of like when this person snaps or something like that <clears throat> if it is a third party connection i feel like it's that type of situation where out of embarrassment of how they probably slap the piss out of somebody they kind of like stick to that person <laughs> because it's like they would tell on me you know so there may be some things that um a person has on another person um if it's like legal things and certain experiences that they feel like you know, a person has the ability to, like, put them away for a long time, especially if they were doing some illegal shit together. Um, or they just let someone in, you know, enough to know enough about them. There's that energy, too. So, they need you to know, like, <clears throat> changes are happening. Um... Things are going, like, things are changing. I do feel like this is something that was cyclical for a majority of you. Like, events repeating itself. Uh, but this person knows the direction in which they want to go in. This is a positive direction. I'm glad that it's not in fucking reverse. So, this person is saying, it's like, they are fighting this entity. They're fighting this demon. They're fighting this, this state of being. Uh, they're not giving in to a person's objective okay so Taurus let's go positive momentum is what they want you to know Taurus let's get into your energy okay so Taurus I feel like your energy is showing up as at some point in connection with this person either you're kind of trying to recover from a financial hit it feels as if you 
you weren't able to finish what you started, okay? All right? There's unfinished business with this person. I do feel like you are coming out of um, lack, okay? You were lacking something. If you were lacking faith, you're coming out of that. If you were lacking awareness about what's going on, you're coming out of that. If you were lacking the strength to overcome adversity, you're coming out of that. If you were lacking financial support, assistance, um, dealing with unemployment, jobs, or anything of that matter, you're coming out of that. I'm seeing new jobs. I'm seeing offers as well. Someone is going to offer you a job. I do feel like this may be a job where you have to go to a particular location um and probably like clock in if for those of you that are interested in that you're just coming out of a period of frustration 44 is significant for you um i feel like you are you're prepared this time there's something about you were unprepared before but you're prepared this time if a person comes towards you with some fuckery, you're prepared this time. I feel like for some of you, if someone is trying to cock block you, Taurus, or if you feel like this is someone you do not want to be with and they have a tendency of trying to uh, make you not believe in yourself, slow down your prosperity for you, I feel as if. You ready for this person this time. You got something up under your sleeve, okay? Whatever you did, like every time you... If this is someone that you do not fucking want, every time you had gotten encounter with this person, I feel like the more and more they revealed to you their weaknesses and you've had to be like 10 steps ahead of them, okay? Because you have readiness here. So you may notice, you may be aware of like all the tricks that this person likes to pull. It's almost as if with as many stunts that this person has had as has pulled, you kind of know all of their tricks of the trade. Okay, so they can't catch you off guard no more. You feel what I'm saying? And for those of you where this is a third party situation that is always trying to fuck with your person or you know this person is fighting something more spiritual with this disturbance card you're not intimidated okay i feel like overall that energy can't bully you and you're aware that this person is fucking sick okay so those of you that have been waiting i am seeing two storylines very prominent those are the major two storylines that i'm picking up where one of them is like a hell no, stay where the fuck you are. And the other person is like a third party energy that's trying to keep someone away from you. All right, so what you need, <clears throat> what you need the person to know that you love is that you got a lo enough love overflow with your cup overflow with. <clears throat> okay. Well, damn, that's real heavy. I feel like you you have a lot of love. What you need a person to know is you got a lot of love for this person here. Mm-hmm. Okay. For some of you, you ready? You got you ready to give love? Like you have filled your cup. You've replenished yourself. You've gone off. You've licked your wounds. You've recovered. I feel like you you're you're facing your fears and your hope is being restored in love in general again. Even if it's not just a, to a specific person, I feel like your love, your desire for love is restored. Huh? Like you're replenished. Hmm. This could have been a ghosting situation as well. And you're coming out of that ghosting period and y'all are like clearing the air. This could have been like no communication for a long a period of time. And y'all coming out of that isolation. You know what I'm saying? You may have wondered like what, what caused it to go haywire. 
And it feels as if someone was trying to keep you and someone else from having conversation or communication. It's like they wanted you to believe that someone was taken, but they were never taken or something like that. This could be a third party wanting you to believe that another person was in a relationship with them or that they were taken or that they were married or committed. And if they were never married, they were never committed. Oh, shit. There's a conversation coming. Whoever this telepathic person is that you do want that's coming in, they want you to know they were never in a relationship with someone. They were never married to someone. That was a third party energy that was trying to put on that facade or, or tell people that they were d dating this person in privacy. So which means that this means to be a very private person that doesn't go around. This is someone that doesn't go around clearing up rumors, clearing up he say, she says. Like if that's what you think, that's what you think. Okay, so I'm seeing here. Oh, shit. This person is saying nobody can force them to be with them if they don't want to be with them. Yeah, if they don't have the desire to be with someone, no one can force them to be with them. Like straight up. They don't care what. So, like, someone is really, like, breaking off communication, um, breaking off any type of dialogue, any type of, like, friendship, relationship, connection. Like, if I don't want to fucking commit or if I don't want to be in a relationship with someone, no one can make me. But it feels as if this person probably was never in a relationship. Let's get some truth on this. Let's give it a mix. All right, this may be a love at first sight type of connection. Okay. Oh, this is coming back together, honey. What is this? We have um, Santa Morte offering. Someone could have been putting up offerings to get this person to change their mind. I'm telling you, someone loved you at first sight. And it's because you do not have control. You don't have control. You don't like to have to control people. All right. Him could be significant. You have twin flame love at first sight. Damn. Someone ready to come. Someone is coming. This is serious here. Whatever missed opportunities that you guys had before in the past, that is being like changed. There's a spiritual awakening happening here. Spirit, clarify this for me. What is this person's feelings towards Taurus specifically? What is this person's feelings towards Taurus? All right. One thing I could definitely say is this person feels as if you are the type of person that if you, like you can't, no one can make you move if you're not ready to move. No one can make you do anything you're not ready to do. So this person is pretty much saying, um, they've had to wait until like it was the right time. We have responsibilities in reverse. Magnetic souls. And then we have spiritual awakening. Okay. Inner fears. So I do feel like there was fears that was keeping this person from coming towards you. And it has something to do with responsibilities, duties. Make a move. The time is now. Someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make a move. And that's in reverse. So this person feels like either you weren't making a move on them tours. If you're a masculine tours, they feel like you weren't making a move on them. So it wasn't going anywhere. Responsibilities is pretty much saying that this person felt like um, they're, they weren't your responsibility. They weren't. They weren't your responsibility. And so they weren't comfortable 
like leaning on you for support or leaning on you for help okay especially if this was like a friendly type of situation or just a friends type of dynamic um <clears throat> And with magnetic souls, I feel like this is someone that like try to detach themselves from being vulnerable. Okay? So even though they felt like this very sacred type of soul connection, y'all were just drawn to each other and it doesn't make any sense, but y'all just can't help but be drawn to each other. This person felt like it's almost like it that was too good to be true and they kind of was afraid of it really and it has something to do with inner fears as you face your inner fears you recognize what is holding you back from attracting a healthy and loving relationship with others and yourself this person had to set themselves free from some type of toxic insecure parasitic energy this could have been like something that was sexually transmitted as well like <clears throat> sometimes there's like um you know a parasitic entity spiritually transmitted diseases that you can create soul ties with other you know energies or other people and they can drain your your life force okay and you'll feel stuck, you'll feel unable to let be let go, and you really have to do like sacral energy clearing, especially if it was connected through the sacral energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. Because it'll kind of like speak to you. You know how they say like when you eat food and sometimes you can get like tapeworms and shit like that, and then the worms will communicate with you and tell you that you want to eat, 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 eat. It's the same concept. <clears throat> and it's not always um, physical. Sometimes it is physical and sometimes it's spiritual. But it, it could be like depression. It could be something that that that's come, comes through the, the channel of, of trauma. Okay? So this person had to be like... They had to realize that that was fear talking to them. That it was fear telling them that it would, it would never work out. It was fear telling them that they had to do things in this particular order in order for things to, in order to release the control. You know what I'm saying? Um, your partner is sensing that there is something profoundly important about this connection. It's like... A wake-up call in a way because I feel like this is something where solitude in reverse this is someone that that was in a long solitude period and for those of you where you're a feminine Taurus the same concept of applies this person felt as if they weren't your responsibility and even if you were offering to help this person um you love this person i feel like this person turned down that opportunity because they didn't want you to have to heal them or fix them you know what i'm saying they didn't want to use you as a crutch because they felt like they weren't ready to commit or they weren't ready to take on an extra responsibility and they were afraid of the type of responsibility that comes with the connection with you so I do feel like there's a twofold energy where for your fit for my feminines, this is someone saying like they may have turned down the connection because of the type of support you may have needed, the type of forward movement that you may have needed. Maybe you were ready to like move the relationship on to the next phase and this person wasn't ready. So they had to they had to develop that confidence. Um, that they were enough. You know what I'm saying? Because it feels like this person was not trying to hold on to you if they weren't in a position to give you everything that you needed at the time in which you needed it. And that can go as far back as who knows, you know? <clears throat> There's also an energy of someone feeling like you needed time to love yourself. 
because they could kind of see that you were recovering from you were recovering from like toxic relationships and they may have felt like you know they didn't want to see you do the same thing over and over again which is just you know jump from relationship to relationship so there's a lot of different dynamics coming in a lot of strong energies coming forward okay yeah in the shadows so i feel like there's someone that um always you know stay in the background watching you but never really been forceful with you this is an energy where where these energies are saying like it's a lot of them now i don't know how, I don't know how many you got towards but their energies are saying like um is your call towards they've always felt like it was your call towards what's your feelings towards this person they said give it another shuffle i feel like in connection to these energies they may have triggered a lot of different abandonment wounds in you and you're finally ready to date again like you finally love yourself and you don't have an abandoned abandonment wound anymore and i feel like the reason why you don't have an abandonment wound wound anymore is because you're no longer like choosing between this or that like you have kind of had you have like this confidence about yourself where you're like no i know my self-worth I know what's toxic. I know what's healing. I know what's healthy for me. And so it's like, you'll move on. You know what I'm saying? You're not waiting anymore. You'll move on. You know, so you're not stuck. And I feel like these these are like unexpected events. You feel what I'm saying? I get this vibe, Taurus, where you're, like, very chill. Like, you're, like, the best person that people may have say that to you a lot, where you're, like, the coolest person, like, to, like, chill with, vibe with. But then you also have, like, this side to you that's very, like, um, enduring. It's intense, you know. You make people feel vulnerable. Y'all have, like, this healing experience some way, somehow. You make a person feel like they could do anything. And it's it's scary because if you take away that abruptly, a person can feel like, oh damn, if you take my if you take love away from me, it might feel like I'll lose my shit. You know what I'm saying? So you have that effect, is what I'm pretty much sensing here on people where it's like they're cool and then like but if you just take something so quickly, it could be like really hard to get over you. So you're trouble to some people, okay? Towards, what's your feelings towards this person? <sighs> I feel like I feel like I've been holding my breath for a minute. And I know it's just from this reading. Like it's a lot of pressure to communicate. <sighs> like someone may be trying to get the courage to make a phone call or to say something. I'm picking up nervous energy now. There's a commercial that came up on my phone about the army. Someone may be in the army as well. <clears throat> That's not going to resonate for everybody. Because we did see the we did see the military responsibilities, okay? So we have obsession addictions. We have listen and reflect. And then we have insecurities and memories. Ooh. All right. One thing's for certain. Unconditional love in reverse. Movement in reverse. So someone may want to move things on with you, Taurus. You feel like this person is... I mean, I wasn't expecting that, Taurus. So if you're on this side where you're like, hell no, then um, you don't feel like this person is on your level, higher self. You don't feel like this person has done work on themselves. You feel like this person is still immature. 
They could be a fire sign. You could be referring to a fire sign. I feel like for those of you that are dealing with a fire sign, you want that person far, far, far and away. Um, I feel like you're looking towards communicating with someone that has the emotional intelligence and they're not toxic. Or they don't have any toxic um, exes that are trying to like take you out for the fun of it. <laughs> Alright. For some of you, you're telling this person that you're looking for someone new. I told you I was picking up a third party energy. Okay, there's two people here in the third party energy. For some of you, I feel like you may be ready to move on because of the unhealthy third party energies. And you may be telling that person that like you don't want that person's bad vibes or bad juju rubbing off on you. You have listen and reflect. Sometimes what a person needs is not a wise mind that speaks, but a patient heart that listens. So I do feel like you will be this person's friend and listen to them. But as far as like allowing this person into your life and allowing them to make you feel as low as you once felt before, I don't think you're really into that. Okay. And then we have memories. Now, that's for a small group of you. For others of you where you're a masculine Taurus, I feel as if you are showing someone love. And you're showing someone love by listening and not being a know-it-all, but just being that person, that shoulder that a person can lean on. All right? Especially if you're a masculine Taurus, I feel like you're allowing someone to lean on your shoulder. <clears throat> You may be aware that someone is obsessed or that this is someone that has a lot of healing to do. They are overcoming insecurities. You may feel like they're overcoming insecurities. Like they're coming out again. Um, this may be the memories that you reflect on. Okay, you guys have created some type of... Um, good memory so we have someone is walking down memory lane at this time it's okay to reminisce about the past by looking at old photos and messages so you may be reminiscing of the good times okay for some of you taurians that have taurus like deep deep in your chart i do feel like a third party may make you feel unsure about extending love even though you feel ready to burst or ready to communicate with someone a third party energy may may make you feel insecure about repeating you know this has to be someone towards if you're a male towards that you were in love with before or you have a lot of love for but the dark times okay or the type of experiences where this person made you feel unsure in the relationship or <clears throat> or made you feel as if it was easy for them to walk away or give up on the connection is like one of the things that you're considering before you kind of like share this share your feelings or be more vulnerable this person may have made you feel a little insecure if you're a male Taurus for sure like you know, I feel like my masculine Taurus is y'all are tired of being like that person that everyone like leans on for emotional support, love. You're ready to protect them. You're ready to defend them. I do feel like you guys are a little exhausted. Um, of, of attracting insecure, um, feminines or, or or relationships in general where there's this dynamic that includes another person like it's like you're tired of de dealing with those type of situations it's a little exhausting i do feel like you're ready for a change you know what i'm saying even if that means that you're you, it, it requires new love you know it's like you're tired of, of, of attracting toxic connections that are extremely 
robust, you know, um, intense, y'all. Look at that, turning water into wine, you know, where it feels super magical and shit like that. And then next thing you know, you find out they fucking got these insecurities. And then they're insecure about your past exes. They don't really know how to accept you for who you are. You know, they're trying to change you. There's just a lot. Okay. I feel like for those of you that are in that energy, you've been kind of distracting yourself by focusing on. I feel like you've been focusing on like your your money, your growth, your expansion. Like you, you're like, love can wait. You know what I'm saying? And you could be a feminine, a female that's in your masculine energy. So take it how it resonates. Uh uh. Hold on. I have this one dog, you know, and she is just. She's different, okay? And this may resonate, and I feel like I have to tell you this. But she likes to do little shit that she knows is not nice. And I don't care what nobody tell me. But um, if you don't give her attention consistently how she wants it, she'll do little shit like, you know... She'll go take a shit in places where she knows she would never take a shit in. Like, almost as if she's trying to get you to accidentally step on it so she can kind of get off on it a little bit. Feed her ego by it or some shit. It's like she sets shit up like little landmines on purpose. And they can't nobody tell me, oh, she just wants attention. I don't give a fuck if she wants attention or not. That's not how you go about getting that. You don't do fucked up shit like that. That's like that lady... That did that to Johnny Depp, where she like shit in his bed and sent him a picture because she wasn't getting attention. Are you fucking kidding me? No. So <clears throat> that one there, and then she'll know you're talking about it. You know what I'm saying? She'll know you're talking about it, and she'll kind of like look and then like turn away, act like she's not paying attention. But she's definitely watching and listening. Look at her. There she go. Marsha. Talking about you. Look at. Put it away. Put it back. It's that one there. She ain't no good. <laughs> That's that false twin flame right there. Just so y'all know, okay? Mm -mm. That's That's not nice. And I feel like if someone is being like detoured to become single, it's because that one is a no-no. Like, I don't even know how I ended up with two female dogs and one male dog. I don't even know. It... <laughs> oh, my God. There was a period where shit was just so magical, right? And my birthday came, and I was like, I said I wanted a dog. And then my birthday came, and then this dog came. And it just felt so magical of how he showed up to me. And he just came and sat at my feet. And it was just like, melt my heart. <laughs> he melted my heart. And he was like, Jupiter. He was just my juju. He was this good juju. Okay? He was good energy. I call him my service dog because he's did me a great service. He's always, he's, he's so cool. He's so laid back. He's the type of dog where like, I mean, like I would really get emotional ever, you know what I'm saying? And I don't feel for a lot, for a lot of things, but you know, since I lost my first dog when he was a puppy, long story short. Meeting him was magical. It was magical. And, you know, just everything. Training him, like potty, potty, you know, potty training him on the mat. 
since he was a puppy. Like, he just was so cool. Like, he had this communication. He would tell me when he needed to go to the bathroom. I would go outside with him. He don't shit on the floor. Like, you can lay a mat down and he'll go to the mat. Like, and he's a private person. Like, he has standards. He ain't the type of dog that just want to shit in the public. Like, he likes to go put his little mat, like, over in the corner or, like, in the bathroom. Like, he would go in the bathroom and shit and come out the bathroom. As a puppy. That's my Pisces, okay? And then the summer came. The summer came and a lot of shit happened. And I don't remember where I was. And this story is relevant because I feel like I was set up. <laughs> I feel like I was set up. And so, you know, it was near a family reunion time for my family. And there ended up being like a lady that was on the side of the road. And she was selling... Um, multiples and she had three multiples and I was like oh it's a multiple and it's always my children that be suggesting shit <sighs> that damn so so she was like can we just go look at them can we just go look at them so I pull up to go look at the dogs and right next to the motherfucking I'm, we looking at the dogs and we holding them and then all of a sudden she comes and she's like oh the dogs gotta be gone today because they're going out of town and we were only gonna get one and at this point it was a whole issue because uh, if I got one for one daughter the other one was gonna feel some type of way and that got me. They got me. So we ended up spending um, all that money right there just to get those damn two dogs. And I don't know what possessed what what possessed <laughs> me to do some foolishness like that. And all I know is, all I remember is, and I almost like, <clears throat> almost like, <clears throat> almost choked. I turned around and I look. I think it was to my left. Yeah, I looked to my left and it was a motherfucking Chevy pickup truck. And I said to myself, I was like, no fucking way. Okay. And I'm thinking to myself, all these different signs and synchronicities, it was so, like, so loud. And, um, because if y'all don't know, like, the the whole story about the, the, the pickup truck is I've always talked about, like, my first date and my my most favorite date. That was, like, a thing a couple years ago. Um, I've always loved that scene out of, uh, I don't know the name of that movie. It's not Love Jones, or maybe it is. But you know that movie where she was dating the guy, um, Jada Pickett? And they had like the little lake scene with the truck. That that shit has always been like that my most favorite scene, okay? For a lot of reasons. Um so I'm saying all this to say this is I feel like at the period of time I got those dogs in that order, but ever since I got the dogs, it's almost as if the dogs are also telling me a lot of messages, right? And it was interesting because I had a tarot class and um, one of the students in the class, her name was Suzanne and she was really weird. Um, she didn't want to be like, she didn't want to be mentioned, um, like anything in connection with me. But it was almost as if like she had friends or someone because she was mentioning other readers and how she's always um kicked out of classes and all types of weird shit and she wanted her money back <clears throat> so she kind of like had like this whole gaslighting situation she was trying to accuse me of gaslighting her but she was trying to gaslight me um pretty much saying like she wanted to make sure that i don't mention her outside of class or something like that she wanted some type of confirmation that she wasn't going to be mentioned or spoken about um 
outside of that situation, outside of that class. So, but while I was doing the, the readings and stuff like the um, class and stuff like that, my dogs were acting like that. See what I'm saying? And then the two girls were attacking the male dogs. So I feel like there's like this situation, you know, where I heard like John Tucker must die type of energy. Where there's like a gang of of girls or a group of people that are like helping to like cyber bully or cyber stalk um, the collective, okay? And I feel like that doesn't just include like Taurus energy alone, but like the collective in general that are going through that type of scenario. And it's almost as if, you know, it was just a lot. It was just, it was just very, 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 very weird energy. Um, but it's like trying to do like weird shit behind the backgrounds and kind of get information and doing shit like that, but then not wanting their cover to be blown and stuff like that. So if you're dealing with any situations like that. Like if you would go out there and spend that much money for a class just to get close to someone and try to fuck with them um, in a particular way, whether that be through their money or their, their, their psychic um, energy, that's pathetic okay it's pathetic look at that gold digger pheromones okay someone put a guy attached to some type of gold digging energy and they may have been trying to pin you out to be like that but ultimately this is south no energies it gets desperate out here You know what I'm saying? It's sad. We have in love. So that's what I was saying. Like, in the nick of the time, like, my daughter, she was like, mom, bad vibes. Like, cut it. Because that was literally, like, I mean, it was different. It was like two of them. And they were trying to accuse me of psychically attacking them. That was weird. Mm-hmm. I'm going to block all that vi bad vibes. Because if you don't have control over your dome. And you can sit there and. Really? See that? They're fighting. You see that? Mm-mm-mm. Communication. This is the truth. Someone wants to tell you that they in love with you. You got in love. Decisions. Crossroads. And the Ace of Swords. Because I feel like, personally, whoever that person was, um, they wanted to make sure I wasn't going to tell on them. That was the weirdest part. It's like, you want me to be loyal to you and, and hide that a secret from you? Like, what type of shit is that? That's different. Okay? And it's because that is literally like little convents and little groups and shit like that. Weirdos. And she literally admitted to like going around to multiple different tarot readers. And, you know, she was like, this is like, I keep getting kicked out of tarot classes. And I keep getting kicked out of this. And people are accusing me of that. And you're not chosen. If you're a real chosen person, you would know this. I'm like, who the, who goes to a tarot class to have these types of conversations? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I cry for her. I cry, I cry for all of these weirdos okay all these disturbed people that are being unable to see like how they got their own fucking head going like you literally would go out there and try to spiritually fuck with someone okay for a masculine to hold on to a person really that's what you reduce yourself to and that's what I feel like that's where all this chaos energy, chaos magic, stupid stuff is coming from. Is because someone don't want to be with them. I mean, literally that day, these two female dogs literally was tag teaming Jupiter. They were tag teaming him. And he was like, he was just like, ign like ignoring it. 
He wasn't crying. He wasn't moaning. He wasn't groaning. He was just ignoring it. And they were just like getting all aggressive and, you know, attacking him. I'm like, wow. Because I feel like this person just don't give a fuck. Jupiter don't give a fuck. <laughs> so your person is communicating to you in all forms, in all variations. It's, it's in the universe. And they want you, like, you know the truth. You're always going to be the one that knows the truth. We have cuddling in reverse. Depression in reverse. Control tactics in reverse. What I told you, that's the energy that I'm showing up. So what I'm seeing here, Taurus, is that you're affirming someone to someone that you love them. <coughs> romantic gesture. You haven't forgotten got forgotten about the type of love that y'all shared, the chemistry, the bond that y'all shared. And that's going to be the same dynamics. There could be two men literally doing this over a female. Or shit, two men. and It could be all the same gender. The genders don't matter, but it's the dynamics of like an outside person. And you know the crazy part about it is? Those two females are sisters. So this could even be a dynamic where there are two sisters that do not fucking like you. I'm serious. And has always tried to affect this person's decisions when it comes to you. This could be someone you've never been intimate with on a sexual level. But there's always been like an intense connection between the two of you. Like, maybe the most you guys did was cuddling for some of y'all. Look at this. Romantic gesture and memories. Chemistry. So, something definitely, there was some chemistry between the two of y'all. Okay? But there was blockages. Um... Whenever you, I feel like Taurus, you tell this person is whenever they're ready to come towards you and have that heart to heart conversation, you are open to it. Okay, you are open to it. I feel like this is, this is karmic justice, to be honest with you. And I feel like that whole dynamic was intentional. Because a lot of things have been really trying to come up against this type of connection. What you need to know towards this person is in love with you. The healthy connection. But there is, you know, there is outside interference. Okay, this may be someone that's very, like, shy or they like to stay in the cut. They don't really care for a lot of attention. Um, they may stay home or you may stay home. But someone wants to date you. We got true love here. Who is this person? Signs and synchronicities for Taurus. What does this person need Taurus to know as far as who they are? Oh, friendship. Okay, so this could have just been like a friend. Or they're asking you to be their friend. Okay, acquaintances, networking, friends. Okay, this is someone that you're friends with, you're networking with. Or you have just met their acquaintances. This may be someone that is gifting you money on a professional tip. Alright, so we have career, gifts, and money. Whatever you do for a career or something like that, this person wants you to know. And that was a scene, that was another thing in the movie. Um, damn, I don't know the name of that movie. But I think that was one of the things, too. It was like Jada Pinkett, the light skinned dude, and then like the brother. The brother went to jail. There were some issues around the brother not liking the person's person I can't remember the name of it okay but we have business success surprises wealth luck finances okay this is something to do with destiny here some of y'all are destined to have a child with this person or to heal y'all inner child because you have all this fear here to really be free from y'all inner child wounds and stuff like that
All right, Taurus, what do you need this person to know? What do you need this person to know? For some of you, this person is getting, um, before we get to you, Taurus, because Spirit also said for some of you, this person is like getting their finances together, focused on their career, focused on their money, and they're building that up, okay? Both of y'all have like a very childlike nature about y'allself. Like y'all may be very like playful, y'all may like cartoons. <clears throat> so what you need this person to know is that you need them to, to take back their power. Releasing kinky in the bedroom. Some of y'all may be freaks. Super freak. Super freak. Super freak, right? I'm just <laughs> so serious. But I am seeing that. Like, you may feel like you... Um, Cause I heard um bye bye bye. You remember that part in the move in the song? We have dark male, dark male with um or darker than lighter, darker what <laughs> darker than, yeah darker than lighter. So they don't have to be like this dark, but they could be like darker than lighter. We have Ice King. They could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Boss, Entrepreneur, Detached. They're very cold. This is the person that's very, you know, they could be like. Or they could just have, like, black complexion. Don't get caught up on the complexion, okay? It's pretty specific. But are, um, someone may be shy to call you or shy to communicate. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe I'm picking up straight non-committal energy, though, for sure, for sure. We have fair male, dark male. So you got both, like I said. Ooh, I feel like Taurus, you want to know which one is, which one is it? Some of y'all may be dealing with similar situations with more than one person and it could be like, it's a toss up. So I feel like you're just as, you know, it could be one person, it could be another person. Like, who is it? Who am I talking to? So something can be confusing to you. Okay, because we have two people here, Taurus. So something could be confusing to you. Where you're not sure, you know, who's coming forward. You may be talking to someone casually. Huh. Someone may communicate with you. Someone may communicate to you that they were talking to someone casually, casually, and it was nothing serious. Another person may communicate to you that they were um, too afraid to say something. So they may have they may have been too afraid to reach out to you first or communicate to you first. So they kind of like became just as cold hearted as well. Someone feel like they didn't get to say everything they needed to say, and they struggle with being like forthcoming. Um, like cat got their tongue. They struggle with being very forward and honest about how they feel. There was a lot of karmic lessons to be experienced. Either way, I feel like you and someone else are at a distance from each other. You got someone else that's younger than you, Taurus, as well. That's coming in like. You know, I'm willing to do what these other people won't do. <laughs> I'm sick of all. Listen, you have someone that's younger than you as well. That is coming in. Like saying that. Because I'm picking up a lot of masculine energy. You have a you have a younger male for a female or whoever that's coming in and saying that people that that's their age want to be like wine, dine, and like taking places and and have to be bought. And this person is saying like they don't want they want a relationship with you because you're mature. <laughs> Someone younger than you wants a mature woman. 
they want a relationship they want to settle down with a mature person and they know exactly who they want it can be very charismatic as well <laughs> lord of mercy so let's get the closing love message y'all know occasionally when i do these telepathic messages i be trying to really like you know since y'all Torians struggle with conversating with y'all person but cross watchers are always watching might as well all have a little sit down <laughs> If you, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it right there. I was going to say something, but I heard, no, don't say that. Um, sexual union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Okay, we're going to get three. We have playfulness. Okay. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Oh my goodness. And then we have the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Oh yeah. This is going to be good. This has got healing, sexual union. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stop it right there because you know YouTube be tripping with the graphics. That's why I don't show the cards that much anymore because they really got on my case, and I don't need no more flags. All right, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye.